hello guys hello guys how are you doing i hope you are doing fine i'm super excited to see your nice faces again uh, i'm super excited you know I, I was being told that i i chaff my audience too much but i mean you guys deserve the, the chaffs because you really need the best for yourself because you must understand that the only competitive advantage we have is knowledge so you guys watching this channel means there's something you really want and keep pushing guys don't only watch me watch others and develop yourself in all spheres then success will finally knock on your doors just a continuation while in the series of public speaking because if you can speak you can influence and if you can influence you can change lives. Today we are going to talk about preparing a public talk. Preparing a public talk. A wise man once said, not preparing is simply preparing to fail. If you don't prepare, then you are preparing to fail. Another wise man once said, if you are taught to cut a tree, then you must spend a lot of time sharpening the tools because by doing so it will never be you cut that tree in a short period of time so we're simply emphasizing on preparing therefore we can't talk about public speaking without talking about preparation so how do you prepare your public talk i'm going back to my a6 paper as usual and we'll see the importance of this small paper as we go further. So preparing a public talk. Number one, you must know your audience. By knowing your audience means you should know their education, their culture, their social and economic status, and their religious beliefs. Why is this important? Why should you know your audience? Because if you know your audience, you know the right gestures to use. You know the, the correct dressing. Okay. If you are told to go in a village, let's say you are, you are, go, we are told to go to do a survey, then you go in, in let's say, mean skates and all those. Those are quite all right if you are in the capital, the soccer, or, or you reside in a city that is uh, advanced. That is okay. But if you go to a village, they would one, they would be looking at what you are putting on and they would be thinking to say they are husbands. It, it, it will simply mean as though you want to start their husband because that's in the village, that's not normal. So if you know your audience, you know that I'm going to speak to this type of people. Are they educated? What's their religious culture? What's their way of life? By that way, you will know their do's and don'ts and you will not offend them. Because at the end of the, the, the day, you might come out of there and they'll say, ah, that woman is not good. And they'll be checking on their husbands to say, and they tempted. Rather than focusing on your message, they'll focus on your dress. If you're a man, you go to a village in a muscle shirt, people will think you're pompous. And you know, villagers don't want to be intimidated. They'll just tell you, who are you coming to scare here? Please wear property. And that is very discouraging. So we must know our audience and know the audience we are dealing with. There should be a way you should talk to the elite. There should be a way you should talk to students. There should be a way you should talk to villagers. There should be a way you should talk to different genders. There should be a way you should talk to Muslims. There should be a way you should talk to Christians. So you must know the audience. Because if you don't know the audience, you may offend them. What you may think is right might be wrong for them. Number two, know your subject. Know, your hist know the history, the present, and the future. Okay? If I come today, I'm, I'm going to present about public speaking. I know the history. I know it started with the Aristotles. I know it started from the Ethos, Logos, and Pathos. You know? I know the five canons of rhetoric. I, I know the history of why it starts. I know the people it has built. And I know how it can influence the future. So I must know the history, 
the present and the future. In the present, I'll, I'll give the likes of, uh, you know, Vustem Bekwaya. I'll give those examples. So I know the present public speakers, and I know that anyone who can learn public speaking now can be influential in the future because I'm able to read it from the past and how it has influenced people. Because if you can speak, you can influence, and if you can influence, you can change lives. So this is why you must know your subject in and out because it will help you answer any question. It will give you a high advantage from your listeners. You must as well read. Reading is very important. You can't know the, the, the history, the present, and the future if you don't read. Public speakers are good readers. If you are told to present about something, you are told to present, let's say, about drug abuse, read. Okay? Watch videos, read the credible resources. We know credible resources, let's say, maybe Amazon, some Opera, but sometimes Opera is, is fake, you know. Just find, um, uh, you know, credible resources, but most important, books are the best. If you can find where you can purchase books or soft copies, that is better. Most likely Amazon and these others where they are credible books and recognized authors, you know. That would really help. So read. So number one, know your audience, know your subject. Read. Not only reading, but credible resources. Then watch. You can watch something related to the topic you're about to present. You know, YouTube. YouTube has almost everything. If you choose to want to be a programmer, you can learn everything on YouTube. Everything you think of public speaking, you are watching me. You can learn almost everything. There are free resources. You know, which drives me to the book uh, "Hustle Like a West African" by Edwin Ngwane. You know, imagine if you are learning a new skill every day and you have 365 days. By the end of the year, you would have known 365 things. It start from, starts from as little as knowing copywriting, knowing how to write a, a, an impromptu speech, you know, knowing how to communicate effectively, knowing how to network. By the time the year ends, you are turning into a guru. You can tell me, you know, 365 different skills, and you will be the same. So that's why we emphasize on personal development as keep developing ourselves and all these things can be watched on YouTube and and these other platforms okay then number five and this is very important structure your presentation structure your presentation now already we know in almost everything either written essays whatever you should have an introduction many body and conclusion. But what makes public speaking very interesting is there are rules you must follow in order to entice the audience. And if you miss this, then your public speaking may not be, may be boring. It could be of context, but boring. So introduction, what do you do in introduction? In the introduction, you answer the question why? Why public speaking? Each time you hear me bring about a topic, I, I said, why preparing a talk? Because this is a, the thing I'm doing today. Why preparing a talk? I have indicated that not preparing at all, it is preparing to fail. I'm answering why. I have indicated that if you are told to cut a tree, you should spend more time sharpening the tools because it will help you cut the tree faster. What am I emphasizing? I'm emphasizing on the why. Why you need to prepare a talk. So in the introduction, always ensure to answer the question why. And it should cut off for about 15 to 20% of the time. So if you are given to speak for one hour, ensure to structure your speech 20% introduction. And stick by it because we have seen people that give an introduction as if it's a main body. And people are those, they don't know where the main body is. And the badness of having a long introduction is 
you you might end up repeating the same things in the main board because you have you have exhausted almost everything so number two is the main board answer the how so how can you do this how can you do this i've answered preparing a public talk how do you prepare a public talk one know your audience two know your subject three read four watch then fifth structure your public presentation i'm answering the question how do you do it so in the main board you answer the question how and elaborate more and this covers 60 percent of your entire public speaking it covers 60 percent of your entire speech so answer the question how then finally the conclusion the conclusion must be short and it must also cover about 20 percent of the entire time this is where you answer the you give what must be done or rather the call to action what do you want the audience to go out with what do you want the audience to go out with so let us follow this the introduction 20 percent main body 60 percent conclusion 20 percent and the conclusion this is where we include the all call to action and just a tip in the introduction let us ensure to this is where we must catch fire it must be interesting because you want the audience you want because you want to leave this the stage while your audience is clapping for you so we must ensure to come up with a very strong uh, conclusion which is life-changing and which will stick in people's mind because it is very important you, you, it is important so that you leave the stage while people are clapping for you. Well, this is what I had for this video. I hope it is uh, helpful. Today I was really, really calm because I wanted you guys to follow through slowly. Please, if you like this video, ensure to share, subscribe and, and comment. From I... Maluba mwindu dumbwe, it is a bye-bye. Peace.